Welcome, welcome, welcome to my art channel. My name is Luna Smith and I am a Scottish painter and illustrator. Today I will show you how to paint in Photoshop. This tutorial is designed for beginners. Please just sit, relax and let's get started. First, let's create a new canvas. Go to the top left screen, click on a new. Let's rename our project, for example, autumn landscape scene. Let's make sure the canvas have the right dimension, is portrait shape, where the width is smaller than the height. Let's go to the right side of the screen click on our background layer, you can see it's locked, double click on it. Now we have chance to rename it however we like, I will just simply call it background. Go to the left side of the screen, choose color picker, choose a dark brown, let's go a little bit higher to choose the brush tool, then go to the top of the screen, now we can choose the size and the shape of our brush. I want to choose the fifth dot and make the size quite big. Make also sure that opacity is on 100%. Fantastic! Let's color the ground on our canvas. Let's do it again for the sky. Go to a color picker, choose the blue color, a light blue. We make a happy, happy sky. Fantastic! Let's go to the right side of the screen to the bottom to create a new layer. Click on it, go higher to add a new layer, double click on it to change the name, let's call it tree. Go to the left side of the screen to our color picker and let's change the color back to the brown. Then go to the top of the screen and let's change the size of our brush to a smaller one as we draw our tree on a canvas. We need a smaller brush, a thinner brush. You can paint on a canvas with our mouse or with a pen if you have a touch screen. For this painting it really doesn't make any difference. Let's change our size of a brush to a small one to make thinner branches. Let's make our tree a little bit more detailed. It doesn't really matter how these branches look right now. We just want a rough shape of our tree. You can create as many branches as you want. You are the creator, you make the rules. We almost done here. Let's create a few more smaller branches here and there. You can change the size if you want to to a smaller one. If you make a mistake, you can press Ctrl Z to remove the last movement or use the eraser tool you will find on the left side. The tree is looking good. Well done everyone! I want to show you my first ABC Learning is Fun book. You can get it on Amazon. The title is ABC Learning is Fun by Luna Smith. You will find there very cute illustration to help your child or grandchild to learn first A, B, C and the first words. It's very cute, fun book. You can get it for holiday, Christmas or any time of the year to make child happy. Let's go back to our autumn scene. Go to the right side of the screen. Let's create a new layer. Click on it, double click on our new layer, let's rename bench. 
go to our color picker, choose dark brown color. Go to the top to adjust a brush size. And let's start painting. Let's adjust the size again. It doesn't have to be perfect. Let's just have fun with it. Roughly shape what we want the bench to look like. And let's create a new layer again. Double click on the new layer. Let's call it details. Fantastic! Ctrl plus to make the canvas bigger. Let's go to the top to adjust a little bit the size of our brush and let's choose the type of brush number 48. It's an oil brush. When you're happy with the size, go to a color picker and let's choose more orangey sheet. You can go back and adjust the size again if we need to. And now the fun part. Here is their splashes of paint, exactly the same way how I paint on my canvas. When I am not creating a digital art, let's go to the left side to our color picker. Let's choose a different shade of brown. And let's do it again. We we'll create a lighter layer right now. So let's go to the white color and add even lighter splashes of paint here and there. And let's go to the darker side of the bench. We want to create an illusion which side is closer and which one is farther away. Let's play with colors a little bit. You can add as many brown, orangey colors as you want. Let's change the opacity this time to create this nice effect. Ctrl Z if you make a mistake or you can use the eraser tool. Let's work a little bit on the bottom of the bench. and slightly move to the darker color of brown. Remember, your painting shouldn't be exactly as mine. Use your imagination, your type of the bench, your type of colors. I'm just showing you technique how to do it. Let's work a little bit on the legs. Let's make it more grayish. You can adjust the size of the brush anytime you want.
let's go back to 100% of opacity to adjust the shape of the bench a little bit. And let's start to work on the ground. Let's add some darker color. Few splashes of paint here in the ear, creating a wonderful shadow. Let's go back to later tones. It's a nice relaxing painting. There are no many details. We don't have to focus. Let's go to our orange color and few splashes here in the ear. Ctrl plus to make the canvas bigger. You can use arrows on your keyboard to move up and down, or you can use the scrollers on the screen. Fantastic! Let's add more yellow color. In this place the sun will shine. Let's create a few more leaves here in the air. Add some white to create an effect of light to make our painting more happy and bright. Let's go to the middle of our painting. Let's add some green tones. You can see our opacity is not on 100%, which gives us this very cool effect. Let's change our color to dark blue. It will give us more contrast. Let's change to the light blue. Just few splashes here and there. Let's just have fun. Let's change to dark brown, a little bit on the reddish side. It will take a while to create the effect we want. That's what I like about this technique. Step by step, you add the colors to create the image you want. And with each step, the painting looks better and better.
Let's add some shadowing to our tree. You can see the black color is more visible right now and create a very cool effect. We want to use not on all our branches, how you can see we cannot see all our branches anymore. This is exactly what we wanted. You can still see shadowing of our branches because we use opacity of our brush not to be on 100% so we don't cover it completely and now we can add shadowing to those branches we want to be more visible we can create new branches if we want Let's go a more brownish tone and let's go again through our branches to make them a little bit more smoother and more thicker and visible. Let's go lower to the trunk of our tree. And to the root of our tree. Let's change our color to more lighter tone. Let's choose the side of the tree which have a reflection of the sun. So one side will be more lighter and the other will be have more shadow. Fantastic, you doing great. Let's add a little bit more life to our tree by adding more orange shade. We want the tree to be hugged by a sunset. And let's add more vivid white color. Just a few splashes here and there. Fantastic. Let's go to the dark red color. Let's change the size of our brush. Let's start to add some leaves. At the beginning, I am trying not to cover more branches. Just go between them. We start with the darker colors and then we're going to more light ones. Let's add some more orange color. Just here and there. We start to feel the vibe of the autumn. Let's add some yellow. A little bit more sunshine going through our leaves. And let's go back to the light 
orange color to add a little bit more warmth to our painting. Let's work in a little bit on the ground. Let's create a little bit more shadowing there so we so the paint is more visible and we know where the ground is and when the sky is. Add a little bit more shadowing to our trees to make even a bigger contrast between the branches and our leaves and the sky. It doesn't have to be perfect. We have still few layers of leaves to add there to create the perfect tree. Let's change the color to brown. And let's move our rough black splashes of paint. And let's go to orange one. And let's do it again. And let's change to even lighter sheet. Let's choose light blue and let's make some splashes of sky. And let's go back to our reddish color. You want a nice bright red color now. We're almost done with our painting. Keep it going. A few more bright vivid splashes of paint. A little bit more yellow. And let's go to a lighter shade. To smooth a little bit the contrast of our leaves and the background. Control minus to see what we are doing. Fantastic. Let's add a little bit more red color on the ground to make an effect of fallen leaves. Let's add a little bit splashes of color to our bench to be a little bit more visible and colorful. A few more tones to the ground. Let's add a little bit more green. Not too much, just a few splashes here and there. To create an illusion that not all leaves turn red yet.
let's go back to our yellow color. And let's add some few splashes of sunshine. And let's go back to our vivid red color. Let's add a few more red leaves here and there. We want this painting to be nice, vivid, colorful, with many colors going through the painting. And let's go back to our white color. Make the sun a little bit more visible. And let's go back to the black color to make the shadow a little bit more visible as well. It will add a little bit more contrast. Ctrl plus to make everything bigger. Let's choose another type of the brush and adjust the size. And let's add a little bit more shadow to our branch to make more 3D effect. Go to the light yellow color and add a little bit of sunshine. Fantastic! We almost there. Let's change our brush to the fifth dot. Adjust the size. And let's make the sunshine a little bit smoother. Go to the more reddish color. Change the size to even bigger one. And make the sky a little bit smoother. Go to the darker tone if you want to, to create more shadowing in a tree and on the bottom of the canvas. Fantastic! You've done an amazing job! Look at all these details, layer by layer. We create something stunning, a cheerful autumn scene. It wasn't hard to use just a few tools. But look on your creation. Well done, everyone. Please like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.